What up, fools? Uh, it's my day off again. I'm going to do another occult item. Um, secret books, man. Secret books. I'm going to do a shrine. Ha -ha. La -la -la. <laughs> so mysterious, man. <laughs> I'm here with my, my lovely wife. Beautiful woman. Beautiful. Look at her. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Can't have her. It's mine. It's mine. But, um, we're gonna do uh, a little shrine. Uh, let's see. The 22nd of this month is Earth Day. And people are like, Earth, what does Earth mean? What's, what's the definition of the word Earth? Do you know? Hmm. People try to say it's just a planet that has soil and water and where we live. Mm -hmm. But That's do you the know the actual basic. definition of the word earth? Mm -mm. Not from ancient It means times, dirt. No. Dirt. For any anybody that knows, you know, yeah. uh, anything like as far as definitions and stuff, the word earth means dirt. Our planet is literally called dirt. <laughs> so anyways, Earth Day is the 22nd of this month. Yay! Woo! So we're going to make a shrine of the earth goddess, Gaia. Um, I actually have another shrine I'll show you. Uh, and this connects with the next video that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Un momento! <laughs> yeah. Sorry, this is one of my things uh, I started collecting was idols. What was it? Ten Commandments says something about not having idols. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, fuck that. Hail Satan. Um, I'm going to start making idols and carrying around idols. So here's one that I made already. It's Bacchus. This is actually like a homemade little shrine. Um, I didn't make it. It was from... One, yard sales. Yeah, 127 yard sales. Uh, which was pretty wicked, man. Like, yeah, we, it is neat. I like going to it. Yeah, we, we found a couple booths. Like, I got that one for like, what was it, like five bucks? Yeah, it wasn't much. It's like five bucks, man. Somebody handmade it. And then I put like the little Bacchus picture in the image. And I put, I have like a little glass and a candle you can put in there with it. Um, it's big enough for it. So like, you can... If you're paying homage to the god Bacchus, the god of wine, you can pour him a little glass of wine, light a candle, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, I got this from my mother. It was Christmas. Christmas gift. And it's a secret book, but I'm going to turn it into a shrine. So I'm telling you how to turn it into a shrine. Basically, find a wooden box, you know, with hinges kind of like this. Well, that one we had to move around. Yeah, you know, but it's shrine worthy. Ow. I closed myself in. But, uh, yeah, and we're gonna, we printed an image, like on this one here, it's got an image of Bacchus. You know, God of Wine. And, um, I like I like the whole concept of portable shrines. Like you could take that to like a hotel room, you know, and pay homage to your particular god. Um, I don't know. Like I've been collecting occult items, but I'm kind of running out of occult items. So uh, there's an abundance, honey. We'll find more. Yeah, <laughs> I mean I'm sure there's some. You you would find some like out in the middle of a fucking jungle somewhere, and they'd be like. This is our occult item. This is how we <laughs> divinate, yeah. you know. But, um, so I've been collecting, like, gods and goddesses. Stuff like that. Like, making little shrines. And I've had this thing laying around since Christmas. And I'm like, man, that would be an awesome shrine. <clears throat> so pretty much we printed off an image of Gaia. Which is the earth goddess. I would put it more around the edge. Well, I'm you're already dingy. starting, man. I'm just talking just... to him, getting him warmed up. <laughs> we printed off an image of Gaia. 
the the Earth Goddess, and my wife's already started. So, <laughs> just putting some glue around the edges so yeah. we can glue it into the back here. I'd put it closer to the edge, though. A wee bit. Like more right, right here. Yeah. Put put a little on top too. Up here. Yeah. So we printed off an image of Gaia. A little bit more on the edges, man. Uh, yeah, you gotta get that shit. In the corner. Mm hmm. Gotta hurry up though, cause that's uh -huh. super glue. Um, we're using super glue. Sorry, she just kind of got a jump on the gun. <laughs> She's antsy, I guess, which is fine. <laughs> I said I'd bang her hair in a minute. I mean. Uh, sorry, I'm being nice. I never said this was a kid channel. I know. So I know she's antsy. Mm -hmm. Do an X in the center. There you go. Alright, glue glue this shit. Uh, you can do more than that. Put it on real quick before it dries. We're kind of rushing through this video. She's antsy. so weird filming with a tablet. <laughs> it is. By the way, we have like a like three yeah, videos. We're, I plan on banging out like three videos today. There's going to be one. It's a, a Bacchus crown, which I'll get into it. But uh, we're, today we're making a Gaia shrine. And I plan on honestly... Let me put it back up here on there. I plan on honestly like doing like there there she is, you know, you got your little guy shrine. And it's portable. Like portable gods. Idol shit. Um my name is Abraham, by the way. My full name. I go by Abe, but like um his father, like in the kingdom of Ur, I believe you are. His father, Abraham's father, was um, an idol maker in a cult shop, pretty much. Like, his father owned an occult shop. So I think it's kind of weird, like, destiny and, like, all that weird stuff. Like, um, my name's Abe, and Abraham, the father of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, created those three religions. His father was an occult shop owner. He literally sold occult trinkets, like idols, um, back in the day, probably like, what would they fortune tell with in, in Ur? I have no idea, boo-boo. But I mean, you, you can look it up, like Ur, you know, you are, look it up. Uh, so, Abraham, like, if you're Christian, or Jew, a Jew, or uh, a Muslim, like, look it up. The father of your religion, his name was Abraham, and his father was an occult shop owner. So, that kind of tells you a lot. <laughs> like, if I started a cult, you know, mm -hmm. like, yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. There's a shrine. Find you a little box, and I showed you the back of shrine. We made a Gaia shrine today. Happy Earth Day. Well, new, like, uh, not new, uh, happy future Earth Day to you. Yeah. You know. Early. Yeah, happy early, early, early Earth Day, man. Happy early Earth Day. Yeah. And we should respect Gaia, you know, because mm -hmm. we live on, on her. She is Mother Earth. And yeah. I know, like, with the patriarchy and, like, man's mindset of, you know, the physical male god and all that jazz, but I don't know, uh, take care of your, your women, your, your wives, your mothers, uh, your sisters, take care of them, you know, and take care of Mother Earth. There's a reason she's called Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. You know, you put your seeds into her, you impregnate her. Think about her. What, what are you doing to her? Mm -hmm. You know, 
Let's not go mud bogging this this fucking weekend. Let's let's plant something instead. I mean, cause you think like the green beans you eat, the the corn you eat, the you know the corn the rabbit eats in the field or the corn or seeds that the deer eats in the field like mm -hmm. we're all on Gaia and we're destroying her and it's not so much us like I think a lot of it like a lot of people say we're the cause of like global warming or climate change or all that jazz but it's not us I mean look at NASA look at the real enemies NASA launches rockets into space and into the moon. Yeah. Sorry if, if I if if you guys believe we landed on the moon. <laughs> but like they launch these rockets and they're literally injecting like it was an insane amount. I had the number in my head. Yeah, it was I literally wrote it down. Something. Yeah, it was like a hundred thousand plus plus. It was in the hundred thousands, or it was more. a shit ton of fucking fuel they launched per second, per second. Yeah. Into the atmosphere, and and then they blame us that there's too many of us. Mhm. Mm with cars and all that. Okay, well, okay, so there's too many of us. I agree with that. The world is overpopulated. Um. Can these rich people? With all this money, 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 money. All these rich people, you know, the Illuminati, we'll call them. It's a vague term, but we'll call them that. All these people with all this money, and you're telling me you guys can't give us an alternate fuel source. I don't know, electricity, solar power. Come on, guys. Come on. But we're, there's too many of us, though. There's too many of us, boo-boo. <laughs> there's too many of us. Me, my wife, and my kid. There's too many of us. And there's too many of you, is what they want to tell you. There's too many of you. No. No. You guys, you guys have all the money, all the power in the world. You know? And you guys could give us alternate fuel sources like solar power, um, electricity, and you're you're giving us fucking fossil fuels, oil. Wasn't there a guy back in like the 80s that came up with a car? Yeah, he got water? killed too. He got killed. He ran a car off water. Yeah. Uh, let's. That's crazy. Cause when you start talking about that shit, he got he got killed for that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you. You start talking that shit, they start killing you. You know. But um. Hey, I mean. Yeah, uh, so when you go to sleep tonight, they want you to think that there's too many of you. They want you, your wife, your kid, gone. There's too many of you. It has nothing to do with alternate fuel sources, is what they'll tell you. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, you can run cars off water. The, the, guy, the guy who invented that fucking disappeared. Magically, yeah. yeah. You you can get, you can run a car off water. You can run a car off electricity. You can run a car off solar. There's some that've been able to do it on uh, vegetable oil. Even use vegetable oil from. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna catch a bullet. This one's gonna catch a bullet, man. Well, she keeps talking. Everybody knows about it, honey. Oh uh, yeah, no. It's one. Of they don't know about the one that runs off water. Though. That one is less known. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if we know. had like a drone strike tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but the vegetable oil, honestly, everybody knows about it. But there you go. There's a, there's a guy I shine for y'all. Mm hmm I'm all for mm. it. I like Gaia. Celebrate Earth Day. It. 22nd, man. I don't know. Pick Honestly, the only way, the best way, I'm going to end this video real quick. The best way you could celebrate it is, like, pick up some trash or, um, I don't know. Imagine the Earth is a woman's body. That's the way Gaia wants you to see it. It's a woman's body. Like, mm -hmm. pick up some trash. You know, you wouldn't use and, and abu abuse a woman. Like, just fucking... You got a woman, take care of her. That's yeah. that's what Gaia represents. You have a woman, take care of her. Yeah. You know. Agreed. Pick up some trash. Mow your lawn. 
Plant some seeds. Don't go mud bogging this weekend. Mud bogging. That's a big thing around here. Just be good to Mother Earth. Yeah. Um, you all have a good day. God bless. Uh, like I said, this might be a triple whammy today. This might be a triple whammy. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put out at least three videos today. Yeah. Because I've been slacking. And I know you guys love to hear from us. Especially Thorn Age and Andy Pittman and my brother. But there you go. Adios, fuckers.